No, there are exhibitionists all over the country. But what are some of the funny things that happen to you, seriously? They sort of enjoy disrobing a little too much. You can do it. Can you give me some funny stories? I don't think I will. <laughs> Come on, I can't be that no, no. Because those women do buy. <laughs> you don't want to offend them. <laughs>
there are two Americans with Halston and Jeffrey Bean. With Halston, it's the ease and the timeless elegance, but yet sexy and young and hip. In the case of Jeffrey Bean, that detail, that uh, whimsy and uh, the mixing of um, contradicting fabrics. You'll see in my um, clothing, I do a lot of suede trims, leather trims. Uh, very fine details. And that's how Jeffrey Bean has influenced me and actually he's uh, been sort of a mentor to me in the beginning when I was starting out. What is special? Clothing to me, and I see it as the furniture in your home, uh, it's something you live in. It's part of your life and it should be you. And it should be something that you uh, it should be enhance what you have and you should feel very comfortable in it. What is your process? How do you create? It starts out that you have this concept for your collection. You pull the fabrics together based on that concept and the style of your clothing. I mean, you know, it evolves from season to season, but the core of what Douglas Hannon is is always the same. When the fabrics are pulled, uh, you know, I start to sketch shapes and uh, start putting the collection together and on paper, and then we drape the muslins and sew the samples here in my sample room. Then when it comes down to the show, you edit like a third of the collection out. here tend to be much more sober than the runways of Paris. Is that because it's real business here and you're not really interested in just annoying, exciting the media? What, how do you see that? Well, there are a couple of um, answers to that, I think. I think one is that the media doesn't want that from an American designer. Oh, really? And they won't really even accept it. I think that they expect Americans to be more practical. And um, that's what they're looking for here. American lifestyle sort of demands a certain type of clothing and it's just um, that's our sensibility we are very mobile and very relaxed and I think that actually the whole world is becoming more like that it looks comfortable it's usually not very sexy or so it has to be also a balance between those those elements as well and um, I if something's put into a design it has to have a function design has to function um, the function should be designed, you so, know. So not, you're, you're looking at it almost as a design concept rather than as a, a beauty concept as well. No, I, I'm looking at both. When you first started doing your own clothes, was it what you thought it was going to be like? Because well, when you're going from what shop windows to fashion, I mean, you think there's a bit of a relationship, but really there isn't. Well, there, it is. A, it's funny. A lot of designers did come from window dressing. Really? Uh, Armani, uh, Jeffrey Bean, Halston. A, a lot of them all yeah, worked on the important. Ones. And, and, <laughs> um, but I think that it had a lot to do with it. And actually, maybe that's why I do think about the customer so much when I'm designing because I was right there with her.